Good afternoon, Benjamin Hadfield. Teach me to dive. Technical dive instructor here in Idaho, teaching the masses about technical diving, diving, open water diving, all the fun stuff that we absolutely love. And today we're answering questions from the audience. And one of them was, what is that magic triangle plus five on my shearwater? So today we're going to delve deep into the world of shearwater computers and explore the intriguing concepts of delta plus five. That's that magic triangle plus five and the at plus five. But what is it and how can it enhance your diving experience? So let's dive right in. So what is Delta plus five or the at plus five on a Shearwater computers and how helpful is it really during diving? So here's what Shearwater has to say about that. The at plus five is the TTS or total time to surface if remaining at the current depth for five more minutes. This can be used as a measure of how fast you're on gassing or off gassing. Now the at plus five is the total time to surface if remaining at the current depth for five more minutes. This can be used as a measure of how fast you're on gassing or off gassing. The predicted change in total time to surface if you were to stay at the current depth for five more minutes, a positive delta plus five indicates that you're on that you're on gassing the leading tissue, while a negative number indicates that you're off gassing the leading tissue. Whoa, it gets a little bit complicated and certainly out there a little bit for you. But this is a really fairly simple concept, and this is one that we've been using in the technical diving world for a long time. Whenever we're building those our tech diving plans or our plans. We always like to make sure we plan a plus five and a plus five plus five, right? If that, what happens if we go deeper? What happens if we plan a dive and we're going to stay a little longer? So what exactly is delta plus five and at plus five on your Shearwater computer? These are simply indicators that you can use to identify what would happen to your time to the surface if you stay at your current depth for an additional five minutes. In essence, it's a handy measure of how fast your body is either absorbing or off-gassing nitrogen. It's like a little diving crystal ball, if you will, giving you the insights into your future of diving. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If your current depth is shallower than your average depth, you're essentially off-gassing. Staying at this depth can result in a lower total time to surface at the end of your dive if you remain there for a period of time. So think of it as off-gassing, just at a less ideal depth than what you should be. Now, how much are you off-gassing? That's where Delta-5 or the at plus 5 comes into play. So let's break it down with a couple examples that might make it a little easier. Now, you were at a depth of 40 meters, but you are now at 25 meters. And your current total time to surface is 15 minutes if you ascend from your 25 meters right now. However, you want to stay and explore for an extra five minutes. What happens to your total time to surface? Now, Delta plus five tells you that after those extra five minutes at your current depth, your total time to surface will be three minutes less than it is right now. In other words, you're off gassing at this depth and due to the current depth being shallower than your average depth, you would now have a delta of minus three, thus reducing your total time to surface by three whole minutes and allowing you five minutes at the new depth. So it's a trade-off. Two minutes extra of off-gassing for five minutes of play. Is it worth it? I think so. And it's nice to have that information. Let's break that down just a little bit more simply though. To put this more simply, total time to surface um, or to uh, TTS is your time to the surface right now. If I leave right now, I can, it's gonna take me X amount of time to get there. Okay, so the delta plus five gives you an indicator of how long it will take you to ascend to the surface if you remain at your current depth for five more minutes. Now, with this information and through the indicator of being either plus or minus, you can now determine the efficiency of your on or off gassing. Now, the only difference between delta five and at plus five is how the numbers are presented to the diver. Pretty simple stuff. Delta plus five focuses solely on just what the change to your total surface, total time to surface would be, while at plus five predicts what your total time will be five minutes from now if you 
don't change depth. Now, same number is just a different way of looking at it. But even if you find these calculations a bit mind boggling, they're still incredibly useful. Knowing what those extra five minutes at your current depth is going to cost you in total time to service or TTS can be a game changer, especially when you spot something exciting towards the end of your dive. Now, remember, the average depth I mentioned is just a rough approximation of Shearwater Computer's uh, use of a complex algorithm that considers various tissue compartments with different parameters like, well, M values, tissue speeds, graded factors, crystal balls, psychic predictions. No, it's none of those portion, but it is the M values, tissue speeds, gas that you're breathing, as well as depth, time, and whatnot as well. It's all about giving you a general concept of your off-gassing dynamics. Now, another way to monitor your current grading factor of nitrogen loading is with the GF99 or the surface gradient factor. Okay, the GF99 stands for graded factor 99 and keeps a close eye on your gas absorption and the leading tissue compartment. Now, it shows you the current percentage of gas load against the M value, helping you understand when you're on gassing or approaching surface supersaturation. Now, during a dive, this monitor will show you the uh, the diver when they are on gassing and when the lead condition compartment is beginning to increase in saturation toward the M value or super saturation in the gradient percentage. Uh, now, if it shows 0%, this means the leading tissue compartment super saturation e is equal to the ambient pressure and will display on gassing. Now, when the tissue tension is less and the breathing inert gas pressure, this means you're on gassing. So 100% means the leading tissue supersaturation is equal to the original M value limit in the Bullman ZHL16C model. GF99 is displayed in yellow at that point. Now, if the gradient factor exceeds the 100%, it's going to turn red and the unmodified N value is exceeded. Now, there's another part of this as well, and that's the surface GF or SURGF. Now the surface graded factor is a monitor and provides a predictive analysis of what your total percentage of M value or gradient is if you decide to surface right now. It's like having a, well, a safety net, allowing you to stay informed about your dive's safety margin. To increase the diver's understanding of the current nitrogen load and provide a clearer picture of where they're at on the surface gradient factor, it's a predictive way to monitor gas loading with a surface gradient factor uh, monitoring this. Now the surface gradient factor monitors the diver's current gas load and provides a predictive analytic of what the diver's total percentage of M value or percentage of gradient should the diver decide to surface at a mo moment. Now by monitoring the surface GF, the diver has the ability to know if they would be above or supersaturated at or below the M value or total maximum amount of gas that can be safely re-enter the body and be expelled. This allows the diver to monitor how closely they are to their desired graded factor so that they are more informed as to their safety margin should an issue arise at the end of the dive. Now it's crucial to remember that these are all calculations based upon on the algorithm and not the actual gas within your body. They take into account factors like pressure, depth, the gas you're breathing, aiming for a level of conservativeness that considers the least common diver's physiology. So there you have it. In a deep dive into the world of Shearwater computers and in incredible tools like Delta plus five, AT plus five, GF99, and Surface GF. These are factors and features empower, that empower you to, with valuable insights to make informed decisions while exploring the underwater world. They're super simple to use. They're definitely designed to help you as well. So again, Benjamin Hatfield, teach me to dive. Try to answer your questions about diving and little things like the Delta, you know, what does that look like? Now make sure, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, suggest it to your friends and like our comment often. Again, my name is Benjamin Hatfield, teach me to dive, technical dive instructor. Till next time.